Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, April 13th, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through a little bit more on scripting support in Syncom Small Talk. A question came up recently in Complaining Small Talk about using Small Talk in kind of the same way you'd use other scripting languages from the command line. And it turns out there's a decent amount of support in Syncom Small Talk for this already. I'll left click here, connect to Syncom Small Talk. And what I'm going to do is load a package from Published Items. I'm going to go and grab Scripting. And I want the one down here. If I select this one, you'll find that it says, now obsolete use scripting support without a space. So I can select this one, load the top level one here. So let's just load that. Let it come in. Now once that's in, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to save this off. File, save image as. And I'm going to call this scripter. And I've already done this this morning, so let's overwrite it. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to quit this image. And then what I'm going to do is bring a command line in, and I'm going to change the file permissions on that to 755. And that will give me ls-l scripter.im, an executable. And if I do this, strings on scripter.im pipe through more, so I don't get a whole lot. Look at the very top, you'll see that you have the ability to execute the command line. Now what I've done in this shell, is I've made it so that the path contains my directory for the VisualWorks VM. So over here you find that I'm looking in that. So if I now do this, dot slash scriptor.im minus no GUI minus evaluate, and then I put in quotes 2 plus 2. If you look carefully here, you'll see at the bottom a 4 popped up, and that's because it popped the answer straight out to standard out. So in fact, if you wanted to have a piece of Smalltalk code that executed, you could use the minus filing command, for instance, or you can use minus evaluate to execute something that's already in this image you've saved. You could throw a straight in line in a pipe operation with other shell commands. So you can use Syncom Smalltalk in the same fashion. You use other scripting languages with pretty much the same level of support. All you need to do is change the permissions on your image to be executable. Make sure you have the scripting support stuff loaded. That'll add a few extra goodies in. And then finally, make sure the VM is in your executable path. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.